When did you buy it? I bought it a year ago. He saw he got it out of the box, like literally out of the packaging. So you seem like a very organized person. Mm -hmm. You bought the TV clearly on a credit card, and you would have a credit card bill from a year ago. I didn't buy it on a credit card. What did you buy it with? Cash. You get me some more evidence so that I'm real happy. Do you understand? Yeah. Get me a bill from Best Buy. Get me a bill from I Best Buy. I tried to get one. They they don't have it because it's like for Best Buy they keep a running tab of everything, but they don't have it on there. You're gonna have to do better for me. Okay, so... Do you understand? I mean, he's responsible for the TV. You're going to have to do better for me. He acknowledged the price of the TV a, when I texted to him. I don't care. I don't acknowledge the price of the TV. So get me the price of the TV. Do we understand each other? Mm hmm Good. He's responsible. If he put it up and he put two screws in, it doesn't work, fine. Evidence. We'll come back or not at all. So recall case number 553 in the matter of Stewart versus Blanchard. Parties are reminded you're still under oath. You're welcome, Judge. Okay, you found the receipt? Did you get the receipt? I have um, the order pickup information. There Great. Over that. And it has the name of the TV and everything on there. Then I also have a nine. So you bought this in December of 2015, mm -hmm. and you paid $429.99, correct? Yes. And then I also have a $950 quote for the wall because it's not just putty. They have to redo a lot of the wall. Not according to what I saw in the photograph. That's from the landlord, and they, she had a, someone come out and quote the, the work down below. And her contact information is on there. And she had a range of quotes, so she put the range on there as well, after having a specialist come. I get a second opinion. It was multiple opinions. And I have another one in my uh, email, too. Mm -hmm. But it's, I, I would take hers because that's the landlord, and that's what I'll have to pay. You see, my problem, Ms. Stewart, is you gave me a bill for the TV. Yes. Your TV is well over a year old, mm -hmm. and you gave me a bill for seven hundred dollars. You paid four twenty nine for the television. So the mount, and then also the service. No, not the mount. We're not talking about the mount. Okay. Because the mount you gave me a separate bill for. Well, my TV, you can't buy it anymore, so you have to buy the the newest one. So I even gave him the option. I said, hey, you can buy an open box TV. It's a year old. He decided not to do that. He decided to continue to ignore me. So now that's why I'm suing for the full amount. But I did give him that option. You tell the landlord to find somebody to putty it for 150 bucks. 429 plus 150 plus 53 for the mount and 85 for you because you were useless. $717. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you. I mounted the TV in the first apartment for a year. No problems. I saw a TV shattered on the floor. Stayed up. Same screws. Same way. I thought he was a professional, but he's really just a fraud. She texts me and says her boyfriend was walking past the room and heard a loud crash. But if a TV falls and hits you in the head, then, I mean, you're gonna die. Didn't know if it was a dog, didn't know if it was me. My words for Michael, like, you didn't think I was gonna find you? He said, catch me if you can, and I clearly did.